hi what's up how is it going in today's video i'm gonna take you through a journey of graphic designing and uh, this episode is tagged the importance of a uh, file menu in corridor in corridor rather so this file this file menu play a major role <coughs> in your file and all of that it's the key of the whole package you know it allows you to uh, save allows you to uh, you know import and export and all of that you know so right now without further ado let's step into it so right now let's click on file the first you know one on the list is new can you see this new allows you to create a new page you know of uh, color draw then and uh, it allows you to create you know a very stunning you know that intends you to uh, really even you know uh, think of what, what you are doing so let's just you know hit that and see how it works let's click new so the other pops are asking you to change you know anything you feel like you know maybe you want the pages to be 200 pages then you name the file let's name it you then you go ahead if you want it to uh, be CYMK say I'm identity yellow black or red green blue which is this you know I prefer CMYK you know then you change the size of the what's it called the file so they change the width and the height and all of that then the terms of the measurement inches I prefer inches and you you know change the resolution you know 300 is okay hit okay automatically it's gonna create the pages for you can you see one to 200 so that's that so number two is new from templates and actually this one you know we don't actually need this actually uh, the template that is pre-designed to corridor is what you is going to show you so let's go over to the next one which is the number three you know number three open so this open allows you to open uh, an existing file right from your hard disk the one that I should design so far so let's eat it and experiment it click open so automatically double pops up then you're gonna have all the file that I should have designed you know so that's all this maybe you want to make use of this pattern so let's just open the pattern so it's open boom can you see that so that's that so right now the next sub menu is a uh, is recent file recent open recent so this open recent is the file this allows you to open you know uh, the file that you currently working on you know you know it's going to give you you know recent file which you have so let's just click on this and see you know this uh, this actually not valid you know but if you go for that to open any of these it's gonna open it you know, can you see that's a recent file right there so let's go over to the next one which is a number number five you know document management actually you don't need this then the next one is close this allows you to close your color draw even if you have not saved it's gonna prompt you to save so let's just close that so automatically it's gonna close the file you know can you see that so right now let's go to the next one which is uh, close all file you know this will allows al this allows you to close all the files that you have opened you know uh, currently on that correct draw so let's just close all file so automatically closes all the files without closing the main you know our correct draw file which you have opened so let's go ahead and just open the file that we are working on 
so let's go over to the next one the next one is uh, save and save as so let's go ahead and just you know move one of the file so this save save allows you to save your current you know uh, file that you are working on you know presently it's going to update all the changes that, that you have made to your design so if you hit save most definitely going to save all the file that I make changes on so let's go over and check out you can see that it's not highlighted but if I should make changes again that will be highlighted then that, that allows me to save and update you know uh, the changes that I made so right now let's go to the next one the next one is uh, you know savers this allows you to save your current you know uh, file in which you are working on you know it's going to allow you to save a copy of the file and changes the name and save it into another location so let's practice that click on save as automatically double level pops up you know asking you to uh, save a copy you can decide to use uh, let's use for pattern 34 so let's save us most definitely it's gonna save that separate then we're gonna have a copy of the whole other file let me just go ahead and show you the other file can you see this is the file that we are working on then this is the one that we save as copy so that's that so the next one is the you know save template how this works is that you know maybe you've designed a flyer and you're like you know you want to sell the template on the internet then you know you can use this save as templates let's practice that click on save as template so as this right now it's going to save as template so let's just take that to uh, 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 desktops it's okay so a download pop on they're asking you to give a name use any name then tag color draw color draw slide category let's use let's use posters okay save so automatically it's gonna save us so let's go over to desktop and just you know locate that template Let's go ahead and locate that. Actually, we don't need that, so let's go for that. That's how that works. So let's go over to the next one is import. This allows you to bring in any file, be it JPEG or you know uh, any document from uh, your desktop or anywhere you want to pick it from so let's just practice that click on import so let's assume we want to import uh, this uh, let's import this design imports automatically gonna bring it to the corridor can you see how it was right there so let's move on to the next one which is the export so let's export let's export this back go ahead let's this allows you to uh, take the present one and convert it and save it uh, as jpeg or uh, uh, cdr uh, or uh, photoshop file psd file so let me show you how it works export then let's as jpeg you can decide to use uh, any of this option uh, window model all of that let's use jpeg it's export 
so the other pops up asking you what next do you want to make it rgb let's do it rgb then hit ok so let's go ahead and check for that see what you have export so far so can you see this is the file that we export can you see that do you see how it works now so let's go over to the next one the next one is you don't need this you can export you know to uh, online and all of that so send to Bluetooth you know the next one the next option this allows you to send you know your file to Bluetooth the current uh, file to Bluetooth or you send it as email and all of that can you see the options so the next one is PDF this allows you to uh, you know convert all the design so far that you have designed you know to uh, a format that a client can relate with you know that will be visible that will be accessible for client to view uh, their design you know so let's put it to practice click on publish to PDF a dollar pops up asking you to make changes you want to rename it let's use GATS then go ahead we have the settings over settings and all of this this is to this story for another day you don't need that so let's just hit save automatically it's gonna save as PDF let's wait a while for that to initiate good let's go ahead and just see the PDF file which we we which we have a PDF so far this is it can you see that so the next sub menu the next sub menu is a print match we don't need that it's print this allows you to print your job so let's experiment that click on print dollar pops up you know showing you all the options in which you need to set you know you can make you know uh six copy of the printing then hit ok most definitely it's gonna print that's that so let's go over to the next one which is a print preview it preview uh, your printing can you see that good so let's go over to the next one the next one is document properties as in this present file we don't need that pick on uh, close that so let's go over the la let's go over to the uh, the last but not the least exit this exit this allows you to close your current file even if you don't save that file it's gonna prompt you to save but so let's go ahead and uh, put it to work quick so automatically it's gonna close you know asking you you haven't saved it do you want to save you said no if you don't want to save automatically it closes the whole thing so here we come to the end of the story and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far as i always say see you in the next video bye for now